this video i'm going to talk about few basic concepts of number theory the theory of numbers is mainly concerned with the properties of integers more particularly with positive integers 1 2 3 like that initially let us refresh with some elementary concepts in study of numbers first thing everyone knows uh, first concept is well ordering principle everyone knows this if i have any set of positive integers or in fact uh, non negative integers then that set must contain a least element that that is by well ordering principle suppose s is my non empty set of say non negative integers set of non negative integers then this s contains the least element that is there is an integer say a in s such that a is less than or equal to b for all b belongs to s if i have a non empty set with of non negative integers then this s must con contain a least element it will have a least element in okay, case suppose a belongs to s then i'm saying this as a least element that is true in such a way that this a is less than or equal to b for all b in s so that's well ordering principle next is archimedean property if i have many two integers say positive integers a and b then uh, there exists another integer say positive integer n such that n into a is greater than or equal to b in set of positive integers if i have two elements a and b there exists some integer n in such a way that if i multiply this n with one such one integer say n a it will be greater than the other integer that is given by archimedean property this is nothing but archimedean property you can easily prove this in fact suppose if i consider this is not true okay uh, i'll assume that it is not true and i'm saying n a is less than b okay that is n a is less than b for every positive integer every positive integer n then i'll consider the set say s yes, which is which has got numbers n a my uh, sorry b minus n a i'm sorry b minus n a set of all those integers b minus n a where n is a positive integer okay n is the positive integer it's a set of all positive integers then s is i'm so sorry yeah s is a set of all positive integers with integers with the n positive integer by well ordering principle yes has a least element okay by well ordering principle s should have a least element okay say let me take it as um, b minus m a is the least element
least element of yes okay now i can write i'll take one more integer b minus m plus 1 into a this integer also belongs to s because s is a set of all integers right set of all positive integers right so when i consider b minus m plus 1 into a that also that is also there in the set yes right now i can rewrite this as b minus m plus 1 into a right this is this can be rewritten as b minus m a minus a right in fact this is less than b minus m a right but that should not be the case which is a contradiction because i have mentioned in s in s b minus ma i have considered it as a least element but when i consider b minus m plus 1 into a that is less than b minus a which is a contradiction which is the contradiction to the fact that b minus m a is the least element therefore our assumption is wrong our assumption is wrong we have assumed uh, n a is less than b so that is wrong so n a should be greater than or equal to b that is archimedean property if a and b are any two positive integers then there exists a positive integer n such that n a is greater than or equal to b one more important concept uh, in number theory is uh, mathematical induction in fact um, it's a basis for proving any statements so if any statement is given or any formula is given then we usually think of proving it by using the mathematical induction before that let us look at uh, first principle of uh, finite induction let s be the set of uh, set of positive integers it's a set of positive integers with the following properties okay that is first property is uh, the integer 1 belongs to set s and whenever the integer k in s whenever the integer k in s then the next integer next integer k plus 1 must also be in yes then i can say this yes then yes is the set of all positive integers and then s is the set of all positive integers it says suppose i have set s which is a set of positive integers if the this property these two properties are true with respect to the set yes then i can say that this is a set of all positive integers it, it must contain one and for some k belongs to yes k plus 1 also should be there in yes then i can say that it is set of all positive integers now a same uh, property is used uh, while proving by mathematical induction suppose i have a statement say uh, p of n which involves uh, 
natural numbers okay in p of n is a statement involving natural number yeah in such a way that i'm saying this statement is true for n equal to 1 okay statement is true for n equal to 1 p of n is true for n equal to 1 in fact that the same as saying p of 1 is true okay then if the statement is true for n equal to k if the statement p of n statement p of n is true for n equal to k for some integer k for some integer k then the statement then the statement p of n is also true for n equal to k plus 1 for n equal to k plus 1 that is same as writing truth of p of k implies the truth of p of k plus 1 okay then i'm saying that if this true are true for any statement then i can say that p of n is true for all natural numbers p of n is true for all natural numbers n so this thing is very much important being p of n is true for some integer k which is nothing but the inductive step in part the assumption that the given statement is true for k okay for some integer n equal to k is very much important and this step is called inductive step and and this is called this truth of this is called inductive hypothesis once this is true then i can say that this is true for n equal to k plus 1 so truth of this p of n is true for n equal to k is very much important okay depending on that i'm proving that is true the statement is true for n equal to k plus 1 therefore it is true for all and therefore it is true for all set of natural numbers this is how we prove by mathematical induction usually it is this um, method of proving is used when we have to prove some formulas or some expansions like that okay then next important topic is uh, binomial theorem when some numbers are raised to powers we know how to calculate but when some expression is given and it is raised to some powers then how to expand that expression so that is given by binomial theorem it's a quick way of expanding a binomial expression which is raised to some power in fact it's a formula for the complete expansion of uh, a plus b power n where n greater than or equal to 1 into sum of powers of a and b this gives me a complete expansion of this into a sum of powers of a and b in fact this expression appears more frequently in all phases of number theory like suppose uh, i know what is this a plus b raised to 
then simply a plus b like that when a plus b raised to power 2 then a square plus 2 a b plus b square this we deal with these expressions everywhere so thing is how to get these coefficients these coefficients how to get this uh, you can get it from the rules of pascal's triangle actually just finish of writing the expression for a plus b whole power 4 question is how to guess these coefficients see you can get it from the pascal triangle in fact it is like writing like this 1 1 then 1 2 1 1 3 3 1 1 4 6 4 1 like that 1 5 10 10 5 1 like that i'm going to write in fact this is nothing but see when i write a plus b whole power 0 the expansion of this is only 1 right i'm so sorry ha huh. next i'm just writing i'm adding 0 to this so this become 1 and then 1 plus 0 so this becomes 1 then 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 0 1 okay then 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 2 is 3 2 plus 1 is 3 then 1 plus 0 is 1 like that I'm writing this this is nothing but Pascal's triangle okay so the thing is you can get the coefficients these coefficients in the expansion of a plus b by using this so this pascal triangle leads to suspect the general binomial expression for a plus b to the power n in fact it can be written as a power n plus n1 a power n minus 1 into b c2 a power n minus 2 b square like that n c n minus 1 a a b power n minus 1 then n c n b power n this is the binomial expression for a plus b whole power n this can be written as uh, by the help of summation i will rewrite this as say k ranging from 0 to n n c k i hope you are known with this expression of writing n c k then a power n minus k into b power k this is the expression for a plus b whole power n and this can be proved again by mathematical induction so these are the basic concepts uh, before studying uh, number theory we must be knowing all these things uh, in my next video i'll start with division algorithm